up. What made you want to do comedy and and how did you get involved with sketch comedy? Because we were talking pre-show that you didn't go the stand-up comedy route, which in New York there is an an absolutely insane and hyper competitive, you know, yeah. stand-up comedy scene. But you got you found this niche in sketch comedy, doing things online that's gotten you a huge following. You're absolutely brilliant at it. How did you choose you. that path? Thanks. So I don't know if it was the best decision or not. I don't know. Um, but time will tell. But here was my thinking. I came from a business background. Okay. So I was a software developer. And no, I, I am sorry. I managed software development and had a startup previously creating software for big restaurant chains. And so I had done that for a while and I was very good at managing large teams. Okay. And so I said, I have two options. I knew I was leaving the company that I worked for. So I said, am I going to go just throw out all that experience and then just do stand up and try and get discovered? Right. And wait for someone to find me. Or should I take the experience that I learned and channel that into a comedy endeavor? which is more a bit more entrepreneurial. So I said, let me do that. And so I put together, I, I'm very good at hiring people. I'm very good at inspiring people. And I think I really do bringing out their best work. I really do. I will put that up. And so I did that. I put together a great team with Tom and Shane and this guy named John and a couple of other people, so a couple of big names. And I got some money behind it, a couple of executive producers, if you will, because those sketches cost money, right? right? You got to produce it. They're not cheap. And I did it. And that worked out. And yeah, that's just, that's the route that I took. And then we were getting ready for, so we were doing those sketches were actually sort of previews for the full on late night show. Okay. That was going to be, it was going to be a full 30 minute show or whatnot. There were going to be a couple sketches each episode. Then I would interview people, do some stand up. We'd have our different cast in the show. And we got an offer from the blaze from blaze TV. And we realized quickly soon after we took the deal that it wasn't nearly enough capital to pull this off. It just wasn't uh, to do a full 30 minute show. And so we had pivoted to just doing sketches. And so we, I was delayed a large chunk of months trying to pull off that late night show with very, very, very little money. At that point, Shane was now taking off on stand up. right by that point. Mm -hmm. He was going towards SNL and skanking Blaze wanted us to go, skanking up the Blaze wanted us to, me to go in a particular direction. Also that I don't think would have been good for them. Um, for a couple of the other guys, given that it, it was a right-leaning network, obviously. And so I did my thing there. It was all right. And then, yeah, I left last December 2019. So it was basically like a year-long endeavor, December 2019. And then the pandemic hit right away. Yeah. It was like the first year I spent developing the show with the boys. And then I got the show. And then the pandemic hit. So it's like, yeah, that's why I say time will tell, right? right? But I mean, I'm confident, but that was the route that I took. It was had, it was because I had this other experience. And so right off the bat, I just put together a team. And what do you do when you have a group of people? You don't do stand up together. You make sketches, you, you write, you, you act. And so that's how I fell quickly into sketch. Hey guys, I'm Victor Dweck. I'm recording this at the end of the interview and I want to give everyone a fair warning. It's not worth listening to. Rev and Reprobate are a complete disaster. Not only have they wasted my time, they will waste yours.